<laughs> hey everyone, it's Julia here from Comedy and Art. Today we're painting this adorable but slightly spooky Halloween themed hamburger in a watercolor sketch style. We'll be using some fun techniques to bring into life with a vibrant, playful feel and just a hint of mystery. Let's gather our materials and dive right in. For this project you'll need watercolor paper. I went with a square format using Fabriana paper with 25% cotton content. You also need some paper towels, a jar of water, a palette and a set of watercolor paints. I'm using Van Gogh student grade watercolors. Don't forget an eraser and a pencil for sketching, along with two brushes, a medium soft brush and a fine synthetic brush with a pointed tip. For details, we'll use a waterproof fine liner and a white gel pen for highlights. I'll be working with a specific color palette today, but feel free to switch things up with your own favorite or similar colors. Pause the video and sketch out your rough pencil drawing. Feel free to tweak the design to your liking or follow along with an example. You can also download the outlines using the link in the description below. Now let's go over the sketch with a black fine liner. Be sure to break the pressure as you go, so some lines are thicker and others thinner. For example, Keep the lines for the seas on seeds thin since they'll be white, so I'm not pressing too hard here. You can also make the edges of the burger bun a bit uneven to give it a more natural look. Once you're happy with the outlines, gently erase any pencil marks and we are ready to start painting. Before we dive into painting, I recommend adding a drop of water to each color you plan to use. This will help the paint glide onto your brush more easily and give you better control. Let's start by applying the first layer with Indian yellow, diluting with plenty of water for a very light color. I'll be using a soft medium brush for this. While the base is too wet, Let's add some toasted warmth to the top bun using burnt sienna. I'm switching to fine synthetic brush to make blending easier. I'll apply burnt sienna and gently blend it downward, creating a smooth transition from dark to light. In the lightest part, you can add a drop of water for an even lighter shade. If the top ends up too light, adjust add a little more saturated color. We'll paint the barn bun in the same way, adding shadows beneath the lettuce, the burnt sienna, and blending them out. Mm -hmm. 
For blending, I use a slightly damp brush, wiping off excess water and paint on a paper towel. While the buns are drawing, let's paint the beef body using burnt amber. I'll start with a light layer, leaving some white spaces for highlights. And then gradually add deeper shades with light brush touches to create texture. Once that dries, we can move on to the cheese. I'm using our yellow color, applying it lightly on top and blending it out to soften the edge and give it in volume. I leave a few light spots for highlights and can brighten the bottom by blotting it with a dry paper towel. Next, let's add the tomato. You can use any red color from your palette or mix Indian yellow with quinacridone rose for an interesting shade. I'll apply a light layer, leaving a highlight on the right side. Now onto the stem. I'll start with a very light yellow color and add some green while the base is still wet to make it more interesting. I leave some light spots as well. While that dries, let's work on the lettuce by applying a light layer of sub green and keeping some white highlights. For the eyes of the hamburger, I'll use burnt sienna, softening the edges with a damp brush. Now we can add shadows and details. 
I'll start with cheese, applying a light touch of burnt sienna to the top edges and just under the slice. I'll blend it lightly to soften the edges. While the cheese dries, I'll add straddles to the lettuce using sap green, softening the rough edges with water. Let's apply the same color to the curves of the stem and burn sienna. Under the stem, I'll add the shadow with sap green and burnt sienna, keeping it lighter near the leaves and darker near the bun. While the stem dries, let's add shadows to the beef patty using burnt umber, softening the edges with water. I'll use the same color for shadows under the lettuce and this stem. Here it's easier for me to use a soft brush for smooth blending.
I'll also add some details to the stem with the same color. On the tomato, I'll add more saturated edges, softening the transition to the center with water. Now let's create a shadow under the hamburger. I'll change the water in my jar to clean, then apply ultramarine, blending it with a damp brush to achieve a smooth transition. To add depth, I can mix in quinacridone rose for the shadow. I'm going to add some splatters with the same color, followed by yellow and blue. Wipe away any excess droplets with a damp brush. Once everything is completely dry, we can move on to the final sketch details using pens. If you want to lighten the eyes, just gently rub those areas with a clean damp brush to lift some paint and dry it out with a paper towel. Now let's add the finishing touches with a black fine liner. I will draw lines in the shadow areas to enhance them and bring back clarity where the paint may have dulled from water.
Also add a dark line under the hamburger to emphasize its shape and separate it from the background. Next, I'll use a white gel pen to add sesame seeds on the bun and a few highlights for extra expressiveness. In areas where the white pen appears too bright in the shadows, you can gently soften the lines with your finger for a more natural look. And here's the most important part. Don't forget to sign your work and we're done. Thank you to everyone who painted along with me or plans to do so. I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful. If you'd like, feel free to share your version of the hamburger by tagging me on Instagram. I'd love to see your creations. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos. See you next time.